My name's Dan, and I've been working on cars since I was 16 years old. On this channel, I do vehicle repairs and custom accessory installs. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Welcome to the channel. You seem to know something I don't. You're crushing my kid. <laughs> <laughs> used to keep me comfortable. <laughs> Go down. What's up and welcome to another video. This time I have a 2000 Honda CRV and it needs a little bit of work. This 2000 Honda CRV comes with a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine has a four-speed automatic transmission. Based on the condition and mileage of the vehicle, the value could range between $357 to $2,200. It's basically a Honda Civic platform with an SUV body design. Okay, enough history. We obviously need a door handle, and she's losing coolant as well. Well, he said he had a burning smell also, so I think it's safe to say we found that also. All that coolant dripping down my radiator, it's got smoking pretty good. Smoking! This was a pretty large leak, so I recommended replacing the radiator. I would suggest calling around and doing your research, but in my case, rockauto.com was truly the best route. I was able to get a door handle and a new radiator shipped to my driveway in about three days, and it only cost $70. Gonna drain out coolant from this little valve right here. start to move these electric fans first got a connector here one down here if you can see that and one right here 10 millimeter here 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 there right there here here and here and then your two fan tens are here and here. So underneath you got a ten here. You got another one right here. Right there. Ten here. Let's get those out the way. the weather. Hopefully it don't rain on us. Move this up a radiator hose. We got an electric fan now. Turn it cool. Right up. Flow tube out the way. So now the electric fans are out the way. I'm just gonna remove our two transmission lines here and here. Focus. Two transmission lines. And our lower radiator hose here. And the radiator should come out. 
19 millimeter. All that's left to do is reinstall your new radiator and reverse auto which you took it out. I chose a 50-50 mix for all vehicles. Then reinstall your cap, start your engine and check for leaks. So because of the hurricane that recently passed, I was without power for about four days. So needless to say, dealing with the aftermath, the CRV sat for like two weeks. So I definitely didn't anticipate this thing on not starting. 